popular American actor, but also a film director and producer, as well as a businessman, Charles Robert Redford Jr., was born on 18 August 1936 in Santa Monica, California, of part English, Irish, and Scottish descent. Robert is the winner of a number of awards, including two Oscars. In addition, Redford has added to his net worth by being an entrepreneur, founding the Sundance Film Festival. He was named the godfather of indie film by Time Magazine when he was listed as one of the most influential people in the world in 2014. So just how rich is Robert Redford? Celebrity.money estimates that Robert has a net worth which is over $190 million as of mid-2017, having earned most of his wealth as an actor, film producer, and director during a career spanning more than 50 years. Robert Redford unsuccessfully attended the University of Colorado, but then went traveling in Europe before settling in New York City, where he started his acting career with small roles in a television series and other programs. He appeared in The Untouchables, Whispering Smith, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, The Twilight Zone, and a long list of other series and programs. One of his best performances on television was in the series The Voice of Charlie Pond, which brought him an Emmy nomination for the Best Supporting Actor. From 1959 till 63, Redford took mostly small parts on Broadway, but had a starring role in Barefoot in the Park by Neil Simon. Simultaneously, Robert Redford began his career on the big screen in 1962 with his role in the Dennis Sanders directed film War Hunt. In 1965, Robert Redford significantly increased his net worth with his role of Wade Lewis in the film Inside Daisy Clover, directed by Robert Mulligan and which made him considerably more famous, and brought Redford a Golden Globe Award as the new star of the year actor. Later, Redford added much to his net worth appearing in a number of successful films, the best of which included Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid with Paul Newman and The Sting, also with Newman and Robert Shaw, directed by George Roy Hill, which landed him an Academy Award nomination. This property is condemned, The Electric Horseman, Jeremiah Johnson, The Way We Were, directed by Sidney Pollack, The Chase, directed by Arthur Penn, Barefoot in the Park, directed by Gene Sachs, and The Candidate, directed by Michael Ritchie, were also significant and considerably increased his net worth. Since 1980, Robert Redford has added much to his net worth while directing films. His works include the films Ordinary People, The Milagro Beanfield War, A River Runs Through It, Quiz Show, The Horse Whisperer, The Legend of Bagger Vance, among many others. Plus, Redford has narrated a long list of documentaries, such as The Language and the Music of the Wolves, Broken Treaty at Battle Mountain, Audubon Video, Grizzly and Man, Uneasy Truce, and American Experience, Yosemite, The Fate of Heaven. Overall, Robert Redford has appeared in over 60 films on the big screen and directed more than a dozen. For his lifetime achievements, Robert Redford has been awarded by the University of Colorado with an honorary degree, by the Academy Awards with a Lifetime Achievement Award, by the University of Brown with an honorary Doctor of Fine Arts, and a number of other awards, honors, and medals. Robert Redford is still active in the film industry to this date. In his personal life, Robert Redford had two marriages, firstly to Lola Van Wagenen from 1958 to 85, with whom he has four children. Redford then married longtime partner Sybil Zaggers in 2009, and the couple live in Sundance, Utah. He is a well-known supporter of environmentalism, Native American rights, and LBGT rights, too. <laughs>